Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you're put in the back Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. My Verdant Kid here, back again, guys. Are you ready for some fights? It's Friday, 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 Friday. Section 13 kicks off, video game characters versus comic characters. Once again, as you saw, this fight was created by Young Say Show. I hope I'm saying his name right. I don't mean to butcher anybody's name. And he puts an interesting fight together, which I love. Um, he puts the likes of Blade from Marvel Comics versus Vamp from the Metal Gear series. Yeah. Half vampire versus a vampire like character with all the attributes. So let's kick it off with Blade. Eric Brooks. Everybody should know Blade. You know, um, real name Eric Brooks. He grew up in England actually for all those who don't know yes time to educate people uh, grew up in England his mother was I like I said I won't call her a prostitute or a call girl or anything like that she was bitten by Deacon Frost uh, the vampire and through that bite the kind of the attributes of the vampire was transformed through to young Eric while still in her womb um, as you all know, he was trained not by Whistler. He was trained by a, a musician who was also a a uh, vampire hunter. Um, once again, educating people. But still, Eric learned very quickly, and he gained new realized that he had all the vampire strengths and none of their weaknesses. And he makes the vampires in the Marvel universe a living lives living hell. He is highly respected highly feared by the undead and uh, everybody knows that and he is good in hand-to-hand -hand combat swordsmanship you name it everything about this guy just literally screams dangerous if pissing him off so we move on to his combatant in this and uh, that's none other than vamp all right vamp basically guys is from the Metal Gear series he first appeared in Metal Gear Solid 2 um, for all those who don't know um, Sons of Liberty um, Vamp was an ex member of a group called Dead Cell he has vampire like attributes which he does like blood um, he's able to run across water and stand on top of water for some strange reason he can st like virtually you know stand on surfaces virtual like spider-man in a sense he's got superhuman speed agility and he this guy can literally take wounds that would literally supposed to kill a normal man and somehow live i've seen this guy get shot in the head come back to life come back i've seen him get stabbed come back i've seen he's died like a couple of times in over the his game stents um, and it's just like what the fuck is with this guy what is he but he was always intriguing to me because I'm like okay this guy is dangerous I knew it the moment I stayed where they previewed him for the first time when they were previewing uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 I was like this guy's got to be dangerous he's got to be really dangerous and yeah he does live up to that attribute of being very very dangerous and good too so, in terms of a battle between these two individuals, you got a half vampire, half breed, versus a, as I want, I just call it a vampire like super soldier in a sense. Now, can both of these characters be hurt? Yes. I've seen Blade get hurt, and it took him time to heal, but he, he healed. I've seen Vamp get, like I said, get shot and, you know, pull the bullet out of his head, but he was hurt. You know, is is just a matter of trying to figure out how to get to them. And both characters are great in hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapons training. 
even though Vamp uses more of knives, but still, this would be a very interesting fight. And prior to no, none of these guys having knowledge, Blade is going to go all out with this guy. And Vamp too. You know, Blade is going to look at Vamp and be like, okay, he, he could probably tell Vamp's not a vampire, but he's like, okay, this guy is too dangerous to live. So, you know, so somebody's going to die here. Somebody's definitely going to die here, guys. Um, this is for this is to the fight to the death, and the only way I can see I can see Blade going for a death a headshot kill, um, definitely uh, Vamp too, but I leave it up to you guys, Blade or Vamp. And other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this fight. Uh, show some love to uh, the young Say Show. This was his creation. I'm just a guy, as always. What I always say, I'm just a guy that delivered the fight. And I will see you guys in a few with the next fight, which comes from my bro from another mother, uh, Deadpoolzilla, with his take on Alex Mercer versus Cyber Force's Ripclaw. So I'll see you soon. Uh, but other than that, this is Mom Vernon Kid saying peace and love. Stay tuned. Keep it real, guys. As always, you know the slogan. I don't even have to say it. Just read it. <laughs>